State Picker. We're back. We're back to a Sunday. And Sunday means we do a few things. We give you a song, and I got a good one today. Another good one. I mean, I got thousands of them, but I got a good one today. Stick around for that, and I think you'll be excited. I love music. You can tell. I mean, I'm, a, I'm lucky. I grew up in the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. That was my era, and there was a ton of music back then. And uh, it's a little different, people. I mean, if you're young, I don't know how many young people I have watching, but we did not have the internet back then. We didn't have cable TV. We had rabbit ears that most of our dads had us change the channel. We were the remote. The remote control was me. And when that came in, that saved me a lot of hassle, okay? So I didn't have to change that channel. Or the rabbit ears. Do you remember the one that went on the roof and it like automatically, you know, you dialed that in? That was cool. That was cool. See, I'm full of stuff. Just full of stuff. Sunday is we just let it fly. We got a lot of things to look at that sold. A few other things that we're going to talk about. We got to get right into it because some people say, hey, my videos, some people say they get long. And I finally just gave up. I said, you know what? If it's 15 minutes, 16, 20, 25, that's just where it's gonna fly. It's just gonna be, and I'm gonna give you a quote <laughs> kind of about something about that. I, I, I'm i a huge Johnny Cash fan, so Johnny Cash. If you hang around my house, they have a video. If they ever put it on YouTube, I'd be in big trouble because I sang karaoke uh, of uh, Johnny Cash, I Walked the Line, and when I did, everybody was on the floor laughing. Yeah, they were laughing had a good friend who just fell off the couch they fell off the couch laughing so i am not a singer but i ain't afraid i ain't afraid of nothing and when it came to johnny cash i picked that song to sing that night and it was pretty pretty hilarious so all right but here's a good quote from johnny cash i'll read it over here I, I, it says i found out that there weren't too many limitations if i did it my way pretty cool right do it my way so i'm gonna do it my way that's the way it is. That's the way I've always been in my life. And sometimes it hurts me. You know, sometimes it bites me in the rear. But there's no other really way. If you think about that, that's the perfect quote when you think of Johnny Cash, right? And that's how I think of things too, you know? Hey, uh, my way. You know, Frank Sinatra, all of them, my way. So that's cool about reselling. That's cool about owning your own business. That's what it's about. You make the decisions. You get the rewards, you also take the hits. So anyhow, it's it's it's, it's kind of a, uh, it's not a, I don't wanna say it's a catch 22 because it's really not. It's like, you just, uh, and that's what this channel is about. This channel is about reselling, but it's more than that. I really have, I've always said, want to encourage the enthusiasms here. I dig this, I love this, this is fun. And if you're a reseller, you know that because I get I get comments from resellers and I got one right here. I got one right here. I'm going to read this because it's just this came in recently and he's out of kind of my area. New subscriber, he said, and his name is Russell and Russell, if you're out there, he's out of up, up above Sacramento. So maybe Auburn, maybe he's up above there. I used to live on the 50 side, Russell, which was Eldorado Hills, up just above Folsom, loved Eldorado Hills. So. Uh, it was a pretty cool area. It gets hot, but I love it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it. It says, I just came across one of your videos, and I love the excitement that only a fellow reseller understands. My sister says I, I talk about, all I talk about is reselling. It'll be two years for me in September. I live in Northern California, about an hour north of Sacramento. When I started, we didn't have any money, so I started out slow. We are paying off some debts and medical bills, but I'm trying to ramp it up and grinding and putting more items to sell on eBay. This was about, this is, that's what it's about. It's about people like Russell and others who are trying to make ends meet in a very difficult society we are now. It's not like when I grew up 60s, 70s and 80s. I hate to tell you that people, it's the truth. When you can buy a house in California for $100,000 in this Bay Area, 30 years ago. You know, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. You can't touch that now. You can't do that now. 
It's out of whack. So these are the people trying to make it. And reselling is an example of a business that you can start with very little. He said he didn't have much money. And he started and he grew. And he grew. Rally Roots. Me. Even though I have, you know, I, I had a job. I had everything that I needed. I started with nothing. I didn't start with taking $2,000, $3,000 and just jam it in there. I just took what I could, flipped it, and this is where it's gotten to. So I'm here to try to encourage in many ways to show you the things we find to kind of help you with the process. That's where this channel's going, guys. This channel's going that way. It's going towards teaching. It's going towards helping. It's going towards that. I'm going to show you the stuff that sells. I'm going to maybe get some videos outside uh, where I'm picking that kind of thing. I'm going to do that too. But I really want to teach. I really want to give back and give to you, the viewer. And that's why I love getting new subscribers like that. That's, that's what I'm looking for. You know, I'm looking for that person who wants to be uh, challenged and see the enthusiasm because it's there. You know, he, he was talking about that. My wife originally was very skeptical, just like, what's he, what's he doing? This is crazy. I mean, I had stuff all over the place in there. I'd bring in things and she's like, what's he doing? I really didn't say much about it. I said, I'm just trying to flip some things and make some money. And pretty soon she starts to see, you know, what the garage is now. But she saw how it's grown and what's happened, you know, with my numbers and so forth. And that's how it works, right? That's how you convert people and they become believers. You know, they become believers and they see it and they go, wow. And she's telling people at work, she's got some people at work that are trying and looking and watching. So everybody who's out there at, at my wife's work, you know who you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And I wish you the best of luck with that stuff. All right. So up next, let me see what I got going here. Uh... You know where we're going to go? Oh, I got I to gotta clean something up. In the last video, I didn't show the numbers of my uh, 47 sales, basically, or the, the total. The, the, the total. So I, I, I'm going to put it up here. I, wanna, I, I tried to explain to you I did 47 items while I was on vacation. And I also that my, my overall 90-day number had dropped, which is fine. I'm completely fine with that. So you'll see that number up here. I think it's 50. It's right at 50,000. I think it was 54, 55 in that range seven weeks ago. But seven weeks, I've been doing a lot of other things, the backyard and so forth. So I want you to really take a look at that. And you see, I'm not going to sit there and, you know, tell you, oh, you know, it was up to 60,000. It's not. But guess what? Here's what it is. The new number now, 49 something, I think it's close to 50. That's my new floor. That's my new floor. And what I mean by that is I'm now back. So I'm going to get out and hustle. So within the next 30 days, when I'm starting to get some more churn, the number's gonna to start to climb again. And we'll get, we'll get back to 60,000. For sure by the fourth quarter for 90 day total. And it's gonna be a really good year. So don't be afraid to show it. It, it, it's, it's, it is what it is. You've gotta be honest. You gotta show people, say, look, you know, I don't stick at 60 all the time. 60 is a pretty big number for 90 day total due to the fact that I'm a one man show. I list it, source it, ship it, uh, wash it, clean it. I do it all. So it can be done. It's a lot of work. And I do the videos myself. I do the editing and so forth and so on. So it is a lot of work. But it's the most rewarding work. It truly is. When you, you know, when I, I don't want to say it in a bad way, but when you see the money come in, and you go, wow, you know what? I can just buy whatever I want as far as reselling. I don't have to say, oh, I can't. Oh, I got 20. I can't, I can't do it. No. If it's there and you want it, you buy it, you resell it. That's where you're trying to get to. Then you're, then you're off and then you're smooth sailing. Then you're smooth sailing. All right, enough of that. Let's flip, let's flip right into the song. And you know, I don't even cut these videos sometimes because I just can ramble. I can just go on and on and on. I can't wait to get back and see all my picker friends. Wait, wait till that happens. They're gonna be, they're gonna, I'm gonna drive them nuts. I'll drive them crazy. That's the other thing. Friends, friends, I've, I've had a lot of friends, a lot of new friends in the picking, the picking world, a ton of them, a ton of them. You can't, you can't put a price on that. You can't do that. No, I found a lot of new friends. All right, the song. Great band from 1973. We're going back. The song is. Tell Her She's Lovely by the band El Chicano. They're out of L.A., 1973. 
absolutely an amazing song. Now you heard me give you Suavecito by Malo. I'm giving you this one now. When you play it, you're gonna know it. You're gonna know it. It's just, man, it's just it's another driver song. You know, you're cruising, boom. You know, this is the song. I mean, I've got a list that's called Cool Songs. That's what my list is called. It's called Cool Songs. Because they are, they're cool. And I drive and I put these on and sun's coming down, come, or sun's coming up or going down and you're driving somewhere. This is, this is the list you want to play. All right, enough of that. We're going to get right into a few items that sold. We'll see how many we get through here. I'm kind of keeping an eye on some things up here. So we'll flash through a bunch of stuff and we'll chit chat. All right, let's, uh, ooh, what can I pick up first? I'm going to dig over here. Uh, making a mess. Sorry, folks. Not a staple, but I don't buy many more, many of these anymore. I will buy them in like this condition. This is a backgammon game that's brand new. I buy mostly the vintage ones that are different colors, the blues, that kind of thing, the reds. The standard ones, uh, unless I got them really cheap, maybe I'll pick them up, but uh, they're kind of tricky sometimes to sell. But this one here, we got $39.95. We got free shipping on it. It shouldn't be too much once I find the right box. That's the other thing about me. If you know me, I have every stinking box you can imagine on Mount Boxmore right out in front of the garage. So boxes, if you're out there and you're a new, new a reseller, you need to collect those, especially when you're in the rural areas. I know that my uh, son-in-law, uh, Adam, he struggles for boxes sometimes because he's about 20 minutes from town. So he's constantly making that, but he does it. He figures it out. He figures it out. All right, put her down. I have to put it on the ground. What's up next? Uh, I'll go right here. How about this guy? Cuisinart. Now, in the last video, I told you I don't buy Cuisinart process, food processors because of the recall. Uh, this guy is a coffee maker. I didn't, I got it, it's brand new. I got it at a, a garage sale for five bucks. It's one of those things you just pay five dollars, you know it's new, and you figure out how much it's worth. Not worth a ton of money. It is worth um, $38.95 and free shipping. So I'm not gonna make a ton of money, not a ton, but I'm gonna at least make $20. So five into 20, that's what? That's four times my money, four times my money. So yeah, you know, again, always good, always good. All right, let me see what else we got. Uh, hey, I'm gonna show you the smalls, the bigs, everything. This one's cool. Remember the uh, garage sale where I picked up a bunch of like concert t-shirts? This one is Project Revolution and Lincoln Park. Okay, this got $14.95 and $5.95 shipping. I paid 50 cents for each of those concert shirts. We see this over and over on all the channels, right? Rally Roots, everybody. Uh, everybody's got a t-shirt there in, but you know, this is a, a bread and butter kind of deal. I know that I think Kevin just sold one for 220, 220 bucks. You know, I, that's what I'm telling people out there in the reselling rural world who's in the rural areas. Those are your hits. So, you know, hey, Kevin makes $220 on a really cool t-shirt. I make $220 on a really cool uh, record player. I'd probably rather have Kevin's $220 shirt because that, that's an easy ship. This thing over here, it can have some problems, but hey, it's the area, right? I don't find as much as that sometimes as I do the bigger stuff. So a little different, just a little different swing on it, right? All right, uh, how about this? Some silverware. Now I picked this up at a Goodwill's, I remember. There was like 120 pieces in it. And this is the daffodil pattern. Oh, I forget the name. I don't know. We'll look at it. Daffodil pattern. You can tell by the little, uh, the end there's the daffodil. And these are the forks. And I've already sold a bunch, but this set sold for $19.95 and $6.95 shipping. So again, you break this stuff out. I still got a lot of this stuff left. This is another, I, another great find out in rural America, smaller cities. I'm trying to get you to, you know, hey, this is, this is the kind of stuff too you find out there. This is, everywhere okay the electronics might not be everywhere and some other things might not but but that kind of stuff's everywhere and you can find it and uh, make good money on it all right let's uh oh my goodness i got so much stuff going on around here 
Where are we at? Oh. <laughs> oh, mini CDs. Some more. We sold Rush. 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 So the mini CDs keep selling. These sold for $76 plus $9.95 shipping. So again, right at that $25 per CD. That's what my overall goal was. Can't go wrong there. We have another one here. This is a Jethro Tull one, Crest of a Knave, $32 there. And another Rush one, $26.95 there. I'm losing track basically. I'm not the one thing you'll know about me, I'm kinda when it comes to stuff like this, I don't I, I, I try to keep track of it in general and maybe say, hey, here's what I made on it. I have a general idea. Uh, it's we've got to be close to uh, two thousand dollars so far off of the CDs, and we haven't touched you know quite all quite all of these. So that's that's pretty pretty good. Um, uh, let's, oh, here's something that's kind of cool. It's, it's not a big not a big item, but I've had it a little while. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It sits up somewhere top flat, but it's very cool. Look at this old little pennants. This one is Tampa international airport that's pretty cool right that is a pretty awesome looking uh, little pennant and it only sold for eight dollars and 7.95 shipping probably make a couple bucks off of shipping here so but i i remember i paid hardly anything for it and this thing is like minty it's really really nice the way i'm going to ship this is just two pieces of cardboard cut and then sandwich it between and it should be should be fine i hope so i hope the, <laughs> hope the united states postal service don't uh basically taco taco it on me you never know with these guys um all right and here's another head cover this is an interesting head cover it's by house of monaco and it's limited 76 out of 100 didn't get a ton of money for it i think we got 18 dollars and 795 shipping that is uh dios de muertos i think day of the dead kind of the thing for halloween or or the uh, basically Halloween, I think. Probably wrong. Somebody will probably inform me that I am wrong. All right, now. And then this Interplay book, another one. Now, not the greatest of condition, but it still sold for $26 and $5.95 shipping. So these are the type of things also to keep your eye out for in, in every area are books. And once you start to learn what to look for, yeah, you're gonna do pretty good. Now, the scanning apps do help, but you can still scan using the eBay, the eBay scanner, and go that route. And you'll find that you can pick up some Bibles and other things that will sell for pretty good money. I mean, as a matter of fact, I think I have a Bible in this in this lot. Um, yeah, here it is, we'll go to it. This is a large print, ultra thin, brand new Bible, which I found in one of my book bins. And hopefully I can find out what it sold for. No, me, I probably didn't put it down here right. Digging, digging, digging. $24.95 and $6.95 shipping. $24.95, $6.95 shipping. Boy, I'm terrible. I am not good at some of this stuff. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, interesting here. Here's an interesting find. This is software. Now, software does really well. And again, another item you should be able to find everywhere. This is Apple. It's Final Cut Express HD. Now, I just purchased a little while ago uh, Apple Final Cut Pro 10X. They call it 10, I think. And uh, for, for editing videos, it's amazing software. So down the road, if you guys are uh, doing videos or something, and what I like about it is it's a one-time cost and it's $2.99 from, from Apple. I don't think you can get it discounted because you know how Apple rolls. But as far as editing software, very cool. A lot of plugins, a lot of stuff you can do with it. And this here sold for $18. Free shipping. It'll go medium mail. Will not, you know, it didn't make a ton of money. But as I remember, I got it basically for free. I think it was, a matter of fact, it was in the bin. It was in the bin. So very cool there. All right. Now we will go over to here. Some camera equipment camera equipment this is a lens and originally when we, we looked at this we saw Pentax now the Ashy it's a good lens a good brand but when you open it up you find out that it's a Carl Zeiss 
uh, Carl Zeiss DDR. So it had the cap on it. So, you know, it it wasn't what it was, but there, there it is. And this lens here, this one sold for $75 and it was marked $4.99 in a saver's bag. So very, very cool lens. Now, not all 35 millimeter lenses sell for that kind of money. This is a Carl Zeiss Sonar and it's a Jenna, I think is what they call it, a Jenna, a Jenna DDR. So it's a, it's a good quality lens, but they, even they, back in the day, this was expensive, but now, you know, it's, it's really not. And to show you in my Nikon find that I had a few, a few videos back, um, I had this nice zoom lens and a teleconverter. The teleconverter goes, what's going to happen here? The same guy bought it and said I could ship them together. I know exactly what he's doing. This is a two times teleconverter. So it multiplies this is a 200 millimeter. He's going to put this on the back end of this and then hook it to his camera and turn it into close to a 400 millimeter lens. Uh, but with the 2x converters comes quality issues. So some things get degraded in there in general. Anytime you start adding things on, that kind of happens. But didn't get a whole lot for these. These both sold for a total of $44.95. But if you remember, I bought the Nikon, uh, I think it was an FE uh, camera, and I picked out one really quality lens for myself, and that's the 1.2. 50 millimeter, which is worth about 300. So if I want to sell that, it's for I can sell for 300. So that's another part of being a picker, right? We want to also, we, we all have things that we like. I like cameras, photography, albums. I keep some, not many, but I keep some. And so anyhow, that is a passion of mine. So that lens is now mine. So I've already sold about $200 worth of stuff off there and I paid a hundred. So I've doubled my money got a really quality lens and I still have some really quality stuff left to sell. It's a great thing about reselling. That's another area, right? It's a great thing. These cameras, you'll find them. You'll find them. You will find them everywhere. The small point and shoot ones, all of them. You'll find them everywhere. All right, let's see what else I've got. Oh, a couple albums. We'll just flash them. You know, Rubber Soul by the Beatles, a $16 album. Now, um, Bob Dylan is great. Desire. It did not um, did not sell for a ton of money. I think it only was like eight bucks. I don't know what I did here. I got a lot in the. I said, you know what? I'm gonna put Bob Dylan up because Bob's a consistent seller. Kind of like the America album. Doesn't sell for a whole lot. Um, but that's what it is. That's the way. That's the way it goes. Sometimes you get some home runs and you don't. And I've got still got tons up there. Just like my CDs, I'm kind of focusing more on there. But I'm trying to put in a few albums here and there. So that I can, you know, I don't want to end up being a complete album hoarder. There's only so much I can do. All right. Audio Buddy. M Audio. The brand is M Audio. Look for M Audio. Not everything they sell is great. But M Audio um, is a, pretty much a staple. This sold for 40 bucks. Now it's, it helped me that I had the box. I sold it for forty and thirteen ninety five shipping. I paid four ninety nine again at Savers for this guy. So this is that older electronics type uh, stuff that you're looking for. All right. Um, let's take a look. See if we've got anything else. What else do we got? Do do do. Sorry, we're just standing around looking at each other, right? Oh, one more thing. Uh, this here we picked up for six ninety nine minus some. I think twenty percent. The Sony PlayStation, but we can't test it. So no way to test it. We sold it for 40 bucks and 995 shipping. So not a whole lot here. There's a few games up here, but we did disclose that in the ad that hey, tested non-working parts basically. If they get it and it works, more power to them. I just I kind of blew it on this. I need to have a charger for this type stuff. One area that I'm kind of weak in is video games and video game systems. I just don't know a whole bunch about them. So again, uh, that's somewhere I need to improve on, right? So everybody needs to improve somewhere. And I will, I will. I'll get better at all of this, all of this. Uh, I think that's it. I think it's it. We did pretty good. Oh, wait, wait, one more thing, one more. <laughs> Jeez, this is me. It's confusing. It's a garage full of stuff. 
and I've got it here, there, everywhere. And then I gotta kind of find it when I put it back in here to show you what I sold. So this one's really cool. This guy was the last one. I remember I picked up a few remote control uh, airplanes and I sold those. I sold uh, for about 200 each. This one was a confusing one to me. I got this at Savers. If you saw the video, you saw how much I paid for this, like $7, $7. This is the America's Cup Racer 12, uh, America's Cup Challenge 87. I think they sold these at like the event or something. I'm not 100% positive. So there was one on there for 300 and I thought, there's no way this guy's gonna get 300. It's just not gonna happen, I don't think. So I put it up for 174 and I said, okay, let's just be patient. That's the key, be patient. I didn't get any offers. And then all of a sudden I just got it, it was sold. It took about a month, I think. Sold for 174 plus 23.95 shipping. So very, very, very cool. Uh, love that kind of stuff. And there you go, so that's it, that's it. Thank you guys, thanks thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble on and try to inspire. We're gonna get better, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have a ton of fun. All coming up, we're gonna, it's gonna get so much better. All right, thanks again. Don't forget, hit the subscribe, hit the like. See you soon.